Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil. We're getting out. So, once again, I had to do some research as to what I should do next. Turns out I was a little bit over uh, my head when I tried to get to the basement during the last episode. Apparently, I'm not really supposed to be doing that yet. And what I need to do right now is to go back to the courtyard. I'm, I know. It is not the honorable way to play when you constantly have to look things up, but I really try to find, find this out on my own. And having looked it up, I admit this, this is not something I probably would have tried by myself for a very, very long time. So first we need to put the, the stone and the metal object back here so we can access the courtyard again. Let's see, I have brought the battery, so that's nice. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Well, if you remember, Brad is the helicopter pilot of Stars. He took off right after we got into trouble. So, I'm I'm a little mad at him. We're we're trapped here because of him. Now we have this little elevator shaft, but it's not functional right now. We're gonna have to make it so. I will need to put the crank back into its position. We used it previously to drain the water. The sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. Oh cool. Oh, and, and I have it back. So I can just do this however many times I please. Hmm. Wait a moment. I don't think I should do this right now. I'm sorry. I need I I will need to drain this again. I think I need to establish some kind of passage before I make this place inaccessible. So clearly they have uh, animation for for draining water but not for filling it up. I wonder why. Oh, I don't want I don't want to be here cuz because of the snakes. Shit. Ah, damn it. Stop it. Stop it, you guys. I guess I'm poisoned again. Gosh darn it. Yep. And I don't I didn't bring any blue blue herbs, so Jill, you're just gonna have to deal with it, I'm sorry. I wonder if there's a aggravated version of poison, like extra poison or, or something like that. Uh oh.
Nope. I'm not taking any shit from you guys. What about this transparent creature here? I have no idea what to do with that. So there's a battery slot here. We're gonna put it right here. From now on we can use this elevator. And I'm gonna do that. Because I am not going back the way I came. I'm not going through the, the snake den again. What do, the, what do those snakes even do? What do they do with their days? Like, do they just climb as high as they can? And uh, just wait for Jill to appear again? And then drop on the ground like, Ha! Ah, we're still here! What a bunch of jerks. I think because we're poisoned. Um, because we're poisoned, our health is dropping. I may have to go back to retrieve some blue herbs or just consume some blue herbs just to uh, cure myself of the current illness. This is annoying. Okay, I am back fully recharged. They're ready to go. I guess the transparent creature is still in here. I wonder what it does. But the waterfall has stopped, so we can go through here now. For the first time, kind of nervous. It's amazing this candle is still burning. This place is wet as hell. Okay, we're in some kind of basement of the. Whoa, there's a door here. Not a friendly looking door too. Apparently there's a typewriter and item box not far from us, so that's a relief. <laughs> so I actually didn't need to go back for the save room. That's good to know. We have some more acid shells! Beautiful. Can we just combine them right now? Yes we can. Is that a fucking boulder? A large boulder blocks the way, this is just awesome. There are blood stains underneath the boulder. You know, this tells me that at some point that boulder is going to be activated and I have to Indiana Jones myself out just in time, otherwise I die and lose a ton of progress. That's what happens when there's a boulder in a video game. Boulders and adventures. They go hand in hand, but you really don't want to see one. Um, I'm gonna not pick that up for now. Just because I want to save the space. There's something shining over there. Handgun magazine. I'm gonna leave that right now because I didn't. I don't have my handgun. I feel bad for leaving so many items here. You know what? I should probably grab them. There's this item box not far from me. Um, hang on, guys. I'm gonna grab them and run to the item box to, to, to deposit them. Excuse me here. And then we'll come back for any puzzle that might happen. We have time. Right?
Ooh, blue herbs. And look at that. More ink ribbon. This is great news. I don't think we will be using the crank anytime soon. Now let's work out what's supposed to happen here. Hey! <laughs> More handgun magazine? Really? Maybe I should go back and grab my handgun. But nah, the next time. Next time I pass through the, the box. What's down there? A huge gaping hole. Wonder what it was dug for. I have a feeling we're gonna find out. Let's see, the elevator's power source. There's a round lid. Open it. Hmm, it's a shaft. Let's take a look. It appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved on its side. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. That appears to be some kind of code. Okay, cool. Uh, what do you want? Well, I, I'm not going to just put the shaft back in. It can't be how it works. So I think we're gonna put something in there, and it's going to raise some kind of elevator. Right, let's check out that door. Start at the doors. Always a good sign. No red flag whatsoever. Let's see how big this place really is. Uh, anything I need to check out for? Uh oh. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No, well, um, but why? <sighs> oh, that's... The stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Enrico! <laughs> <sighs> Traitor? Who? I don't know, but if you catch up to him, you might find out just in time. Because he can't have run far. Really, he's giving me another... Whoever did this is definitely a professional. I mean, Jill did kind of didn't act like a professional. He's holding something. Of course he is. Another crank. Great. <laughs> like, with somebody shot, somebody next to her, so close, she didn't even duck. She didn't even remotely entertain the idea that she might be the next to target. I find that kind of strange. Enrico is dead. What could he have known? When he said, are you with anybody? I, I thought he, w he was trying to hit on us. Does he have anything else though? Okay, let's 
do a head count of the stars members. Oh shit! Fuck me. Is he dead? Okay, we're still fine. So, um... What is this for? There's nothing unusual. Well, we already have a... We already have a crank. Is this any different? I was gonna say, let's do a head count of all the stars members that we know of. Jill? Chris is not here with us. I don't think we're gonna see Chris until may maybe the, the end of the game. Because he's the uh, other half of the whole game. Albert Wesker, the captain, he's around. Barry, he's around. We also got Enrico, who just died. Richard who died and and Brad Brad is the guy who Brad is the pilot who got away and he's trying to contact us again mending his own mistakes I imagine who else well we also got a few guys at the beginning who got off the by the dogs right away well they don't count um we got Rebecca Chambers in the mansion somewhere, but I don't think we're gonna see her in the Jill campaign. That's for Chris. I, I that's I believe that is the case. If you play as Jill, you don't get to meet Rebecca. You get to hang with Barry, and if you play as Chris, the situation is reversed. I, I'm not quite sure the extent of differences there is between the two campaigns. To be honest with you. I kind of want to play as Chris again now that I, after I've familiarized myself with a bit with the game uh, as Jill. But I'm really anxious to move on with the RU franchise with 3 pretty much already coming out. Speaking of which. Just for casual conversation, what do you, th what do you think should be the future of Resident Evil after they've done all the remakes? I mean, after three, maybe they would remake Code Veronica. I don't know. Maybe they'll do a, a complete remake of uh, RE1 and Zero. I don't know. I don't. I kind of don't think it's necessary because the current version of the game are completely playable and fun too. I think I'm gonna bring out the handgun for a second just because we have so much ammo for it and I don't know if we're gonna need these two with us so I don't know what is the difference between this crank and the other one um, Resident Evil 7 took a very interesting direction. I actually really love right, RE7. No exaggeration, I freaking love the game. There's a hexagonal hole here. <laughs> well, there goes one mystery. So, there is a difference here. I imagine we're gonna be using a new one. Hey, come on, be nice. Okay, maybe it's not about that. Uh, hexagonal. What do we have that's hexagonal?
Hmm. Maybe the shaft? Could it be? Four, two, three, one. I just want to remember the number once again. Okay, maybe uh, maybe it's also not this thing. I still don't know what the mold disc is about. Wait, this is hexagonal. Why didn't it work? just wasn't in the right place. Shit. This is why, one of the reasons why my playthrough is just unnecessarily long. Now I'm gonna just wager that we're not gonna be using this again. Not for quite some time. My methodology, so to speak, of entering a new place is always to... with the intention of gathering as much material as possible. Like the green herb here. I kinda like to bring them, bring everything I can find back to a reliable place, like a save room, like the, uh, mater the, like the item box right there. What is what is going on here? That looks like something should be happening, but nothing. Uh, can't go that way. Another boulder? Really? A huge boulder blocks the way. Motherfucker! I knew it! I knew this shit would happen. Okay, we survived that. That's good. It just leaves another one. Hey, where's the boulder? You, I, you'd think the boulder should be somewhere here. Ah, oh, whatever. The, the path is cleared. Uh, this is a door on the other side? Really? Oh, the boulder did clear the way. That's curious. I'm gonna check out the other end first. Once again, I am completely just disoriented by everything. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Now let's see here. So, Chris, did you move that boulder? Did you punch that boulder from the other side? Bad Chris. I should have saved. And I shouldn't have taken the... I shouldn't have taken the, 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 the handgun, should I? You're kidding me, right? I'm already poisoned and hurting. What's what's over there? Oh, survival knife. Well, that's gonna help me a bunch. Jesus. 
Are you fucking seeing this? How is this fair? Okay, I got the big one. I got a big one. I'm just gonna fucking use this right now because I'm freaking dying. Yeah, we are on a no survivors policy. Screw these smaller ones. Oh my god, it's still poisoning me. Ah, uh, Jesus! I need I need to go back. The store is can't open right now. Anyway, get away from that. And where's the fucking door? Here we go. We gotta we gotta go back, man. This was a mistake. Well, not really a mistake. We had to go through that anyhow. Whew. That did not go as well as it could have. But we survived. I'm just really glad I didn't die. If I died, I'd have to do all of that again. I don't know if you've noticed that about me, but I... I'm really not a big fan of doing the shit over again. I think I should... Um, what is my current condition? Uh, mailed with, well, poisoned. Well... What, I'm, I, what I think I should do is... I wonder if this snake serum can actually work on me now. I don't think so. I'm gonna... Where's the blue herb that I got earlier? So red herb I'm gonna save for a later occasion. I'm just gonna use... This upgrades my health by one level and cures my poisoning. Which is exactly what I need right now. After that, I'm gonna need another one of these. Um, shit. So, shotgun is almost out of ammo again. Shotgun is really... I'm gonna take some incendiary ammo with me. Uh, I'm gonna take the survival knife for now. Just because I think we need to use that on the spider web. Oh, by the way, I'm saving. I just got a few more uh, of the ink ribbons, so I got plenty of those. At least I hope it's plenty. I'm not sure if eight ink ribbons is a lot or two, uh, not a lot by normal normal difficulty standards at this part of the game. I'm not even sure what is roughly my progress of the entire game. That's how little I know of this game. It's crazy. I've been playing Resident Evil for a few years, but I've never really, really played the first one. Okay. Take the knife and march on, Jill Valentine. I definitely wish Resi 3, I, I'm not, I don't have to wish, I'm absolutely sure that Resi, uh, Resi 3 Remake will fully expand on the character of Jill Valentine. And I hope she ends up a, like a really compelling character. Well, let's be, let's be honest, as, as much as I'm 100% Team Jill right now. Where's the spider? Um, as much as I hate seeing his body, it's even more disturbing that he's now gone. A huge spider web blocks the door. Well, let's see if we can do this. Just... Yay! 
Okay. Good. Uh, let's just see what's going on on the other side. I kind of want to go back to deposit it tonight, but you never know. Maybe the next door is blocked by webs too. <gasps> nice. Map of courtyard B1. Take it. Oh. So we've explored the most of it. Just a few more. And take the blue one. Take the green one. That's uh, all the space we got. So I'm gonna go back to deposit them. I might as well take this time to talk about how I feel about some of the, how do you say it, archaic mechanics of this game. Or classic, depending on your point of view. Um, okay. So just to just to give you a little bit of background of where these opinions come from, I'm an early '90s kid. So when I first uh, got wind of Resident Evil, it was the original Resident Evil One and Two and 3. I didn't personally own any of these games. I didn't own a lot of games back in the, back in the day. But I played them at my uh, my cousin's house or my friend's house. I played I pr played a, a little bit of 2. Actually, I think I played quite a bit of 2. Maybe at uh, one third point of that game. And I played a little bit of 3. Didn't get very far because Wow, Nemesis was a bitch. But what I'm trying to say is the uh, the tank controls, the item management, the all the doubling back and and the fix the camera angles. I do not. I'm not irritated by the, by them at all. To me, they are. Like quintessentially, what defines Resident Evil as an IP, as a brand. I would go as far as even as even say a great portion of charm for this game comes from these seemingly in inconveniencing elements. What, what was I trying to find? Um, fucking never mind. I think I'll just go like this. I'm gonna take one blue herb just because things keep getting me poisoned around here, and I'm not a big fan of that. So I really do. Uh, I really don't mind the, the. The only thing I don't like about the camera angle is that it's very disorienting, and. When it cuts away, you have to adjust your controls accordingly. And that creates some a bit of a problem. Sometimes I just, just can't get to where I was going. Apart from that, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh, fixed camera angle. Now, I'm going to say I don't prefer it over the more modern way to play Resident Evil. I don't prefer it over Resi 7's first person view I don't prefer it over the over the shoulder uh, pet viewpoint in uh, Resident Evil f well every everything everything other than Resident Evil 7 after Resident Evil 4 actually I would say the R Resident Evil 2 remake is probably as perfect a, a an engine for a Resident Evil game 
as there can be. So I'm a even though I absolutely define my my uh, personal impression of Resident Evil with the uh, older versions, older way of playing it, like I'm doing right now. Uh, I kind of still prefer the newer ones. There's a hexagonal hole here. Wow, again. Oh, we're gonna have to double back. So none of that really bothers me at all. Let's just... What I'm trying to say, I feel like I'm doing a pretty poor job of explaining how I'm feeling. What I'm trying to say is whatever grievances I have with this game that I, that I may have eventually is not going to be about uh, about most of the mechanics. It's not a, going to be about how this game is played. In fact, the only game mechanic that I'm genuinely a little annoyed about is the limited saving. The fact that you have to have ink ribbon to save. I find that a little bit cruel and a little bit in, uh, it just uh, it makes things a little bit inconvenient, a little clumsy. But it's something I can easily tolerate because I, at least on normal difficulty, they do give me enough ink ribbons to not to have to worry about it too much. I'm carrying a lot of stuff, aren't I? I'm gonna have to double back and forth for a few times, I suppose. So far, I think my biggest issue with the game is probably the story and character. Because there's just not a lot of them. And the few cutscenes we have don't really make that much sense. I mean, there's a particular brand of charm to them, I would say. Like, they're weird, they're a little nonsensical. Barry just stares at a pot of blood for uh, god knows how long. Oh, crap. Chris, don't punch the boulder! If the boulder comes, I'm running this way. Got it. Huge boulder blocks your path. Uh, Chris, maybe punch the boulder. It's telling me there's a door here or something. What the hell? Was I not supposed to do that yet? Let's try this again. Okay, I think we need to turn this around another time. Oh, shit. Phew! 
knew that would happen. I have foreseen it. Um. Oh, that's going to be helpful. Oh, why, why did I try to use it? Nope. Oh, it's another first aid spray. Good. So we got a full inventory. We can't take any any more things. So obviously we're going to have to double back and check check things with the item box again. But I just I, I just a sneak peek, just to see what we're in for. I, I kind of like to check out the map first to just to see how big a room I'm supposed to expect. Now, obviously, what the hell? Oh, whoa! Joe's boobs are jiggling. Mm, somebody worked on that for a long time, you know that. Um, okay. I think this is used to turn these statues around so they would fit somewhere like maybe there's supposed to be a statue here but we gotta turn it around what is this there's a hexagonal hole here really <sighs> fucking hell okay you how am i supposed to get it get it to the to, to the wheel Oh, there's another one? Let's try it. Ah. Um, okay. Now, uh, how about this one? Oh, come on. Just. Give a little twist. Wait, is this the same one? It's the same one, isn't it? Oh, I know what it's for. It's just gonna take so much time. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember the sprite. Like that's that's where the statue goes. No, no further. Okay, I think that'll do. Right. Now let's use that again. Here we go. One more. Ooh, fun. Oh, come on. Okay, what's wrong? Why isn't it moving? Don't move me, move the goddamn statue. Ok, 
Okay. Now we're talking. I gotta go back. Where's the door? I would die so fast in an environment like this. So back to what I was saying. I kind of feel like there, there's just not a lot of character in, in this in this game. I'm. I'm playing, I know I'm playing Joe Valentine, who is a classic Resident Evil character and OG. And I respect that. I know there's a legacy behind this character, but you never know that just by playing this. That's actually, that's the chief reason why I'm really anxious to get to RE3. I really want to know more about her. Now you might, you might argue that RE games are never really character pieces, and you wouldn't be wrong. A lot of the uh, main characters are classic because of their designs, because of their deeds, but not really of their personalities. Oh, what am I doing? Just for fun. Just... Let's give it a cylinder. Oh, 4231 again. I bet this combines with the other one. Now, let's go back again. I have a feeling there's going to be hunters again. So I'm, I'm get, just getting ready for them. Every time I get some important items, things are gonna happen. I really appreciate that this game maintains a very balanced line between survival and horror. And I also think it's pretty interesting that I got to play this game right after I replayed The Last of Us. The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time maybe a candidate for the favorite game of all time and that's a pretty strong sentiment i freaking love that game to no end um but i think there's definitely a history behind the resident evil that that the last of us has to defer to like the last of us i believe is the pinnacle of the legacy that was created by Resident Evil. Well, maybe Alone in the Dark, even before that, but I don't think Alone in the Dark was ever as popular or as influential as this one. So sometimes the, the creator may not be the progenitor? I'm not sure what the word should be. Okay, they're combined. Uh, symbols are not right yet. Okay.
this folder still hasn't moved and he it's gonna open the door for me over there I think series of flashing buttons okay just press one whatever um oh oh shit what was that combination again uh four two three one i think that's the case power has been restored Yeah, badass. Okay, I think we have explored everything in this level and it's time to get down. Jill! Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but. Well, that's probably me. Expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Hey, I got a companion. That's nice. I feel safe already. That sound. It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. Oh, f, f you, man! One day, I'll stay you here go and secure check it our out. escape route in case something happens. Okay. How about I secure the escape route if if it means just standing around? The one bloody time you could be of some use. Okay, that's a little unfair. He has been of some use. How about I just get up here and leave you down here, you dummy? I'll stay and secure our escape route. Oh. Well, he has given us a lot of... Oh, look at that. Okay, so clearly something is down there. And... We're ju I'm just gonna take all the firepower that I can get. Maybe I won't take the extra two magnum rounds. Let's hope I. Let's hope I live to regret that. <sighs> God damn it, Barry! Okay, here goes nothing. Motor supplies, they are labeled waste materials. And what do we have here? A garbage compactor. There's a switch. Huh. Interesting. Hey, Barry, stand over here. I have such a bad feeling about this. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna have to lure something down here, don't I? That's the idea, isn't it? But oh, there's a door somewhere. Where is it? Uh, maybe it's not down here. Uh, 
Hey, look at that. I almost missed this. Wonderful. Somebody really wants me to use the handguns. Now, where's the room? go um. I think I have some idea of who that is okay oh shit she's faster than I thought So I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna see if she opens this door. I'm gonna see how Barry reacts to her. Okay, that's Lisa Trevor. I've encountered her once before. Barry! What the shit? Barry, you son of a b. I'm already at conscience. What the hell? Um. Gonna need some more of that. Just one swipe and I'm already down. Since I'm fighting a boss character, I might as well take some blue red with me. And combine them. Okay, is she following me or not? By the way, I kind of want to save the acid rounds for hunters because they're so effective. I'm gonna use explosive rounds for now. She's not following me. I kind of thought she's gonna follow me through and I will lure her, you know, to, to the trash compactor. I thought that was the plan. But it seems like I have to battle her. A little while at least beforehand. Shit, this is gonna, this is gonna go so badly. Oh, what is this? There's some kind of lever here. Pull it. Whatever it does. I don't know if I should keep shooting at her because I really don't know if this is gonna work. The barrels are full of gunpowder but it's so damp here that they're probably of no use. Okay, so this area is not just for boss fighting. What is going on here? Oh! Check it out! Magnum rounds... Uh, what else do we have? You know what? I'll take the magnum rounds. Why not? going on here? A device for transporting materials. Uh, maybe not started up yet. You can't go that way. That's curious. I wonder if we need to just, this is just out of curiosity. And, and there's a, some water here. I don't know if that's going to be useful. I think we need to transport this box uh, on the elevator for whatever reason. It's gotta be here for, for a reason. 
this is just my instinct as a gamer. I don't think I can go with it, can I? Okay, I'm gonna need that box somewhere else. See ya, box! Counting on you! The boxes are labeled chemicals. Oh, that's just great. I think that's what this room is chiefly for. Uh, got Magna to span, so... Okay, so Lisa Travers, we met her before, but the last time I saw her, I really didn't quite understand her story. So she's the daughter of uh, George Trevor. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know if I can kill her here. Now, George Trevor, if you remember, is the architect of this whole mansion. So he said he's the he's a chief reason of our struggle. We read his notes. I wasn't very kind to him. Well, he was some kind of mechanical hook. The hook is stuck inside a hole. Wait a second. The hook is stuck inside the hole. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do about that? So anyway, uh, Lisa, Lisa was just a little girl when her father designed the, the mansion that we have come to love so much. We can't take this anymore. Fuck! Okay, I don't think she's dead, you know. I don't think she can be killed this way. Well, it's a kind of a tragic story. Her father designed a mansion and was... Well, in, let's just say incarcerated by the Spencers who commissioned him to build the mansion, obviously. So Jessica and uh, Lisa, they, the, the wife and daughter of George, they traveled all the way here to meet him, to celebrate his... They, they were invited here to celebrate the, uh, the completion of the mansion. God damn it, Barry. There's no way back. Barry, why? I don't know. Why? But of course, Jessica and Lisa were also captured, imprisoned, and they devised a plan to escape. Neither George nor Jessica made it, and um, eventually Lisa didn't escape too. Either, I should say. And they experimented on her for like something like three decades because she's the Prob she's something like the first uh, successful candidate for some of their virus, progenitor virus, I think. Oh, the box! Hello there. So this trash compactor is for the box? I thought it was going to be for, for, for Lisa. I thought it was going to be for whatever next monster we're going to have to face. I stand corrected. But why would I want to crush this box? Imagining Barry getting crushed. Is that a 
Oh, I can't carry more items. But that is something I want. Can I ride this all the way back? That'll be fun. So I'm guessing that's something you can kill Lisa with. Uh, we're gonna be able to get more of this. Broken, f broken flamethrower. Well, I'm a little disappointed about that. The muzzle is broken. It, it can't be fired. The muzzle. Is that something we can fix? I don't think so. Light it up. Mm, no. It's a nice thought, though. What can I do about it? There's gotta be a reason it's giving me the thing right here. It's gotta have something to do with defeating Lisa. Oh wow. But is there something we can use about the hook in the holes. What the hell is that about? I'm not sure about anything. Okay guys, at this point I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that she's gonna take a lot of Oh, no, no bullets. oh shit. I think I'm just gonna use normal bullets for now. It's not gonna kill her anyway. I think I just made her mad. Uh, why not? Through here, some kind of mechanical hook. The hook is stuck inside the hole. Um, well, there is the oh, shit, Jill. I swear to God. Maybe we can only use a little bit of heavier weapon. Maybe that's the only thing that can work. Yeah, drop down for a while, please, Lisa. I'm trying to. This. I'm actually trying to help you. You know. I want to put you out of your misery. Oh, something's happening. Where is it?
There we go. That's how you use a flamethrower? As a weight? Okay, what do we have here? Oh boy. The fire has died out, but it shows signs of use. So this is why Lisa sometimes is not in her cabin. A huge collection of various kinds of dolls, they're all faded and worn. Right, she she likes to. She doesn't quite understand. I don't think she quite understands the difference between these dead things and the organic, real life beings. Like she's trying to piece her mommy and daddy together. Oh shit! Now that's now that I've said it out loud, I realize just how freaking sad this character is. Now there's gotta be something I can. The desk is cluttered with all the beat up dolls and the used candles. There's gotta be something you can give me here. Oh, now that I have the space for. Oh, I do have one space. Well, that's gonna have to be used uh, carefully. Oh no. Yeah, shoot the fucking snake with your pistol. We got, we got bullets to burn. What the fuck? Okay. We made the stars proud. Barry, next bullet is gonna be for you. Oh, dagger. A bunch of photographs featuring a young girl, depicting various scenes from her upbringing. That's probably Lisa. This bed is still warm. And another jewelry box. Can we? Is this one just ready to open, or do I also need to? Oh, it's opening. Aha! Stone ring. That's what we're missing. We need that to combine with a metal object so we can have two uh, octagonal objects so we can use the use that to open the door, door to the basement. Now everything is clicking together. A family picture and the notes. Oh yeah, this is the story that I think we just covered. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica uh, administered a type A plasmolyzing of tissue during cell activation. Vir virus fusion negative. Action disposed. So Jessica is Lisa's mother. She failed to gel with the virus and they kind of just killed her. Lisa administered a type B plasmolyzing of tissue during cell activation virus fusion positive but delayed fusion body modification observe the constant results status continue protective observation George is terminated as of 1967 November 30th oops there's a journal left by someone November 14th 1967 I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me I don't see mom where did it take her she promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? Uh, this is one day after. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. Oh shit. I don't know if that's really mom. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. What the fuck? Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away because mom said when I meet her without her face. <laughs> that was like one day later, dude. What the fuck? 
from inside the box, scent of mummy, maybe true mother there, stone box hard, it hurt, steel rope in the way, can't see mother because of stones. Oh, oh, this is disturbing, dude. Um, let's see if we can get out from here. I'm not sure if the, right now is the time to put an end to Lisa yet. But it's gonna have to happen. Um, I, I'm very tempted by these herbs, but a couple of weathered old barrels containing what looks like water. I don't have the space for them, and I'm not gonna give up anything I have already. Let's see if this get, gets me back topside. Oh, we're in Lisa's cabin. So th that's that's great. That's uh, this is awesome level design. And her cabin also is a kind of a safe house. Well, whenever she's not around, that's a safe. That's a it's a really safe house. This is awesome. Also, the metal object. Where is it? Here we go. Didn't mean to do that, but. That's more like it. So uh, I'm gonna take out another ink ribbon and uh, save the game here and call it a day. Thank you everyone for watching this. I, I actually feel like this is a pretty exciting episode. I'm finally making some real headway with this game. Uh, I mean, we have been progressing, but it's been kind of slow. But I, I really feel like we are uh, having a... Let's just say clear destination, at least the direction ahead of us. I know exactly what I want to do the next episode, and that's a rare occurrence when it comes to this game. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Having a lot of fun with this game, and see you in the next one.